Welcome to the July edition of the Missouri School Boards Association's Board Report. We begin with a look at MSBA's Summer Summit held in Branson June 24th and 25th. The summit began with a thought-provoking keynote presentation from generational expert Megan Johnson. Megan is a generational expert, speaker, and author. Being a Gen Xer herself, Megan knew that negative generalizations about generations were unfair, untrue, and hurtful. So she began researching organizations of all sizes to debunk generational myths and discover the most effective ways to solve differences on the way to finding generational diversity. Because true generational diversity is not about excluding one generation to make another generation happy. True generational diversity is bringing the strengths of every generation onto your school board, into your work environment, into your own homes to bring out the best in everybody. The Summer Summit also featured an awards luncheon recognizing outstanding students such as the 2024 statewide Belcher Scholarship winner, Zach Shockey of Jefferson City. The luncheon was also an opportunity to celebrate board members who have achieved additional levels of board certification beyond the basic state requirement levels and have achieved the designation of Advanced, Master, or Distinguished Certified Board Member. At the conclusion of the summit, during the delegate assembly, Jonathan Russell of the Neosho School District was sworn in as president of the Missouri School Boards Association after serving as vice president for the past year. He told board members attending the summit, it's important to address and understand the challenges our schools are facing right now, with one of his key focus areas being literacy education. Literacy is the foundation of learning. Children who develop strong reading skills and writing skills early on are better equipped to understand complex subjects, excel academically, and pursue higher education and career opportunities. Reading not only impacts academic performance, but also mental health. Strong readers are more likely to have higher self-esteem and confidence. They can also participate more fully in civic and community activities becoming informed and active citizens. Investing in literacy education is an investment in the future. We need to make sure our students are prepared to lead and maybe even lead as future school board members. To make that future a reality though, we have to make sure our students are supported both in and out of the classroom. MSBA state officers elected during the delegate assembly meeting held at the summit include President-elect Shelley Mantell of the Mountain View Birch Tree School District and Vice President Paula Hubbard of the Bolivar R1 School District. As the summit concluded, Dr. Mike Slagle, the superintendent of the Ray Moore Peculiar School District, recognized the outstanding contributions of outgoing MSBA president Ruth Johnson. This is a bowl that was created by our students in one of our art classes in elementary school. And the groovy thing about this bowl is that each one of these little spirals is created by an individual student. And together, they're put together, and the teacher then glosses it over and creates this beautiful masterpiece. This is symbolic of your leadership. You have the ability to see the potential, the gifts, and the talents in each one of our students, and the way you lead you bring it together so that something beautiful is created out of the individual pieces. On behalf of a grateful community and a superintendent who's very proud of you, congratulations and thank you for your service. MSBA's positions on state and federal education issues are determined by the delegate assembly that will be meeting this coming October. If your school board has a position statement on an issue you would like to submit to the Advocacy Committee for consideration, you can do so this summer. The Advocacy Committee reviews those proposals and makes recommendations to the delegate assembly that determines MSBA's positions on issues. And registration will be open starting July 9th for the 2024 MSBA Annual Conference in cooperation with the Missouri Association of School Administrators and the Missouri Association of School Business Officials to be held October 17th through the 19th in Kansas City. The event will once again feature numerous breakout sessions and workshops, many presented by school leaders from districts throughout the state, the Education Expo, and another great lineup of general session speakers. That's it for this month. Thanks for allowing us to have some time at your board meeting, and we'll see you in August for the next MSBA Board Report.